Hey, how's it going? Just checking out this new camera here. Um, this is Gibson. <laughs> I got so many guitars I can never remember the specs. It's got the original case. Let's check this out, man. Oh, oh yeah. An Explorer E2. I'm trying to get some good light going. I don't know how good it is. Uh, I think this is 1980. You know, it doesn't really matter. They only made them for a couple of years. It's got the cool headstock. Um, it's the original case. Um, I wanted one of these for a long time. Uh, it took me, I've, I've had it a year, I think, or so. Phenomenal. Um, I have the original, not original, I've got a tailpiece, the T6 tailpiece that goes there. Um, I think they came with Dirty Fingers pickups. I, that one is, I think it's a Seymour Duncan or a Gibson or a T-Top. The other one is original. Um, it's a maple and a walnut body, um, which is very cool. It's a little bit bright, the sound, not too bright, and um, ebony fingerboard. Um, the neck is quite big, and it doesn't bother me. You just got to get used to it. But as I always say, I love big necks. It's got, what would I press there? <laughs> Um, you know, you got your E2, the E2 on the headstock. I mean, it's got kind of um, beveled edges on it, right? So different than the regular Explorers. Just sounds amazing, though. It's a really cool guitar. Um, you know, it's got a little bit of wear on it. Um, I got it in a swap. I can't remember what I swapped for it, but I always look at guitars and say, well, would I rather have this or this? And, you know, this is 1980, so it's a no-brainer for me. Um, see, the neck is um, quite big on it. Um, so that's really cool. It's got the uh, maple or walnut through the neck. You know, I don't know what all the specs are. God, I could be reading forever about guitars. <laughs> but, um, so, you know, it, it's got a little bit of wear on the back. But the neck is huge, and it just sounds freaking amazing. I was playing it yesterday, and uh, yeah, man, it's a 1980 Gibson E2, the ebony fretboard, big neck. Uh, you know, I've got the I've got a T6 tailpiece for it. I'll probably eventually put it on. Um, you know, keep it as original as possible. I always try and keep guitars as original as possible and um, you know it's it you know a lot of times people change things and yeah you go why did you you know change the pickups or paint it or route it and well people do stupid things and I never change guitars unless I need to change the pickups or whatever but you know I, I, I'm really happy with this guitar um, it's not too heavy it's just awesome to play. The sound is really um, it's full, really lots of sustain. Uh, it's just a little quick video of uh, the uh, Gibson E2 Explorer. Um, maple and walnut body. Um, it's got speed knobs. Just love guitars. I think they made them for like three years maybe. I'm not exact from 79 to 81 or 82. Uh, they're quite hard to find. Like a lot of old Gibsons, they're usually played a lot and you know got wear and tear on them. But that I guess a character. You know, um, new guitars are cool, but um, you know you can't beat something from the 80s. You know. I really would want to get a Flying V version of this, the V2. They have these like single coil V pickups. People say they don't sound that great, but you know, it's, you know, you take it for what it is. Like, you know, they say they sound like a Strat, but um, the V2s, but that's cool. You know, like, the, you know, it's, it's, guitars are, you know, they're 
they're all different. They all serve different purposes. And that's why I collect and play them, because I like different styles of music and playing different styles. Anyways, uh, that's the uh, Gibson E2 Explorer.